me tell you something about my staff. They forced me to say this. They are creative, dedicated, hard workers, and very opinionated. They didn't force me to say opinionated, especially when it comes to how their own family members look, or I think I should say how they should look. She lives in her jogging wear. Now she's going to college, she needs a whole new look. I begged my mom to be here today. I was like, Mom, please, just come to the show, please. And she needs to, like, <laughs> pep herself up a little, you know, get herself some spiffiness, you know. I bring his clothes and I would like him to wear every day, but he wants to wear his pajamas around the house. Just can't get it together. Well, today we're going to give the people on my staff, this is their chance to give one person in their family a totally new look from head to toe. And later in the show, we are going to make over my own daughter, who is screaming and yelling in the back right now since she's so thrilled at this idea. <laughs> now, since the crack of dawn this morning, our two personal stylists have been working their makeover magic on the staff's family members, so let me introduce them. This is Richard Penna, who does my hair and makeup, and Cynthia Rafa Rickman, who coordinates our wardrobe. And as we go through the show, they are going to tell us what they've done for the makeovers. And they have some great tips that all of us, even me, can really use at home. So you're gonna, I think you're gonna be more beautiful by the end of this hour. Let's get started. I want you to meet one of our producers. Her name is Jill. Jill, wave Jill. <laughs> Um, what can I, I'll give you all the gossip. Jill is currently dating a guy, is interested that he should ask her to marry him, so she's not going out with anyone else, has no idea that I'd say this. Has a wonderful family, very loving, says she is dying to give her grandmother, Sunny, a whole new look. Tell me about Sunny. I, I hear Sunny's a terrific lady. She is great, and I have a great grandma, Molly, too. But Grandma Sunny and I have a very special relationship. We were born on the same day, August 13th. We're both Leos, and we have a very nice relationship. In fact, on her 60th birthday and my 16th birthday on the same day, we both went to London together, and she wanted to do a tour, and I was like, no, 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 we're going on our own with the maps and everything. She's very fun. She's always fun at a party, you know, Why hanging does out. Grandma Sunny need a makeover? What's wrong with well, Sunny? She's from New York and she's now not living in New York and she's been hanging out with like you know the retired kind of ladies doing a lot of the bridge a lot of the golfing and I think she's been stooped over a bridge table a little too long and she let her subscription to Vogue run out you know what I mean so uh, a, lot a, nice of, a lot way? of sequins and you know glitter and it's she's a little too much she needs to get it like snapped in a little snapped in a little yeah Okay, our cameras caught Grandma Sunny when she arrived unsnapped in at the studio <laughs> this morning. And let's take a look at her. What are you hoping to change in her makeover, Jill? Well, I think she, you know, she definitely needs a little bit of a spiffier look. She's a very classy lady, and she needs to present herself that way. So uh -huh. I want to, you know, have her really get a look. Sunny's been here all morning trying on new clothes, having her hair and makeup done. Are you ready to see Grandma Sunny? Definitely. All right, Grandma Sunny, come on out. Remember what Sunny looked like this morning, right? Okay, what do you think? I think she looks elegant. This is a beautiful color. I think she's a gorgeous lady, and you know she. I just... agree. I agree. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. I can handle it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we take away your fringe and your your bangle beads for a while? I don't and, know if and... the bridge ladies will let her in now, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> do you like it, Sunny? That's what's I important. I love it. Do you? Good. I think I look. All right, good. Richard. I can handle it. Cynthia, what have you done? How did you achieve this new well, look for Grandma Sunny? All she needed to do, all we needed to do with with Sunny was just to tone her down a bit. We softened up the makeup a little bit. Uh, we cut the hair. Oh, just just slightly not for all you people out there who are looking for a, a makeover not all makeovers are drastic you can have a slight makeover that's going to make you look better she looked beautiful when she came in no offense and she looks even i think sharper now she Gorgeous. looks a little bit more new york now oh, she's an elegant woman i agree I what agree. did you do? She's wearing the same color I'm. Were That's we both wearing actually, the same clothes? Actually, we love this vendor. This wonderful designer, Eileen Fisher, loaned right. us this outfit for Sunny. Sunny has a lot of chutzpah. We talked on the phone, and I loved her personality. Cynthia. 
Cynthia, I know I'm not which was I, not a word you're I know, but I just I had to say it. She likes okay. to use the um, word, so she does. I, which, she when know I what saw it means. her, it's all right. I do know what it means. It means energy and, and vitality. Okay, and you're right. What I thought would be great for her is, is is to reflect on what Richard did, is to tone her down, take away the glitz, grandma, okay? And we'll put on <laughs> we'll put on on chutzpah colors, like this wonderful aqua color by Eileen Fisher. And it's all relaxed and elegant, very easy, very comfort comfortable, very Florida, I think. And I think her she bridge people will now. just love it. She can They'll love it. Palama. She's coming back to see us in a month, right? That's oh, yeah, we have to do follow-up. Right. Either fly him down to Florida or... Right. I, I mean, but, she, but she has these glasses that I don't Sally, know if, are you uh, ready for this? <laughs> she's wearing this these all good. the time. <laughs> and everybody says, you look like Sally I want you to meet another of my producers. This is Christina. Chris, tell us who in your family is a disaster area on the way Well, I, I don't know if I'll say disaster area, but I have nine people in my family, and I decided to make over my youngest sister, Selena. She's my baby sister. Basically, you she's... You have nine brothers and sisters? Well... Eight brothers and sisters? Seven brothers and sisters. Really? Two parents. Okay. And so... <laughs> this is your standard good Catholic family, right? That's okay. right. Um, but Selena right now is at a turning point in her life. She's graduating high school, going into college, and so she needs a whole new look for this college scene. She's also a fanatic when it comes to exercise. She's constantly jogging, working out. She's living in her sweatpants and her sweatsuit, and she's always, you know, I think if she had her choice, she'd probably wear a sweatsuit to the prom, the high school prom. She just <laughs> loves that. So I thought she needs a new How look. How old is she, hon? She's 18 years old. Okay, I know you're having a tough time seeing Selena as a grown-up woman, especially when it comes to dating. I've heard that about the family, right? That's absolutely true. Her birth certificate says she's 18, but in my eyes, she's only five years old, and she's never going to get any older. You understand. Okay, you sure you're ready to see baby sister all grown up? I think so. Well, let's go. Here's what Selena looked like before. And here is 18-year-old Selena now. Selena, come on out. <laughs> Are you all right, Selena? Yeah, I'm fine. How do you like it? I love it. This is like the best thing. I is mean, it? I'm, oh, yeah, I'm so I'm like, glad. Wow. I'm really glad. What do you think, Chris? I, I can't get over her. She looks phenomenal. She Doesn't looks a she? little older now than five. Yeah. I think I could... she, but will she keep this up? She's your sister. You ought to know. I'm gonna. Are you? Definitely. Promise. Crush your heart. Yes, We're gonna haul you back in here. Richard and Cynthia, what did you do to uh, create Sally, uh, my Selena's staff, new look? My staff performed some amazing colors this morning. What we did with Selena, she, she did it like, again, like a, a lot of 18-year-olds that come into the salon, they don't want to lose the length. So she had this boxy type of haircut. What we did is we lightened it up. We put in beautiful caramel colors. Um, we lightened her up, I think, pretty close to her mom, she said. It's funny, we, we seem to go back to other relatives to see, you know, who's a redhead in your family, who's a blonde, and we tried to bring that out. We just softened her up. Bonnie and Maddie did beautiful makeup. A lot of summer colors you're going to be seeing. She looks Absolutely really nice. Beautiful. Excellent. You She's look. Be fighting the you look 18 the now. <laughs> but Sally, I got to tell you something. Look at these arms. Look at these arms. <laughs> well, she works out. out. <laughs> so again, Eileen Fisher provided this wonderful effort for her. And ladies, everyone can relate. You know, it's a transformation going through going from high school to college, and you really wanted to know, educated on pieces that would be great for your wardrobe, and Eileen Fish is great, because look at Sunny, and look at Selena, and they look great, it all comes from the same store. For those of you who are loyal viewers, I think you probably remember many of the memorable appearances of my senior, produ senior producer, Amy. Now, Amy has brought with her this time a very good-looking young man to make over. Not her husband, Amy, bring out the mystery man. <laughs> Sally. You have a cold. You have a cold, don't you, Brett? Don't mess yeah. up here. Well, you look really good with your Power Ranger outfit. You look very nice. Let, me, those, let me tell you why I picked him to make him over, okay? Is For, he wearing his jammies? He's wearing his pajamas because I don't know how many of you out there, I have only boys. And I can't, like, do a lot with boys. You know what I mean? You can't put the little stockings. I mean, I could have a party if I could have a girl. So I'm such a crazy mother that I wake up early to bathe them, 
wash their hair every day. I don't know if you, how many of you like know what a crazy thing that is before the nurse, before they leave for school. Put him in like a fancy outfit, which I'm going to make him over today so you can see what, Sally, because you never get to see what, what I can dress? do. I'm not putting him in a dress. That's next week's show. Ah. <laughs> Fred, I apologize, show. My son, one will be in that that's one. talk show business, okay? No, he's, we're going to put him in a nice little outfit for school, and he'll come back at the end of the show. All right. Bye, Brett. We'll see you later. Sally. Sally. Man who never thing. called. People are always asking that nice doctor, did he call? Oh. Did he call? He never called me. And I just thought maybe this guy came on television. Yeah, and never called me. But I thought maybe you could get me a date with him because oh, he's he very cute. Oh, oh, Brett, would you be interested? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A very, very conservative sister of one of our producers who is going to become a slinky sex pot. And we will tell you, no, I won't. Richard and Cynthia will tell you how you can be a slinky sex pot. I mean, how can you miss that? Don't go away. stuff today, gossipy kind of stuff. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, uh, let me tell you what's going on. We have a staff full of, I have to say this twice, wonderful, bright, creative, <laughs> and very opinionated people. And today I'm giving them the chance to tell their families what's wrong with how the relatives look. And the staff is giving their families incredible new looks with tips for us all. So if you watch this, we think we've taken one from every, we hope one from every group. I want you to meet Rainy. We're very proud of Rainy. Most people say, is she your daughter because she has blonde hair? <laughs> Rainy came to us fresh out of college and has worked her way up to a producer in six years. Rainy, who is it that we're making over? Um, we're making over my sister Gail today, um, who's my very, very best friend in the whole world. She's three years older than I am. And the problem with Gail was is that she, there's nothing wrong with her. Um, she came here today and they kept saying, but there's nothing to make over. And I said, I know, but it was very important for me to do this for her. She's the most special person in my whole entire life, next to my husband, of course. Um, and I just wanted to do something good for her. She works a lot. She's all, always either working, driving around in her car, riding horses, or showing her dog. She's well, no, really into something. animals. She's, she's been married for seven mm -hmm. years, sales manager of a pet division of mm -hmm. a company in Maryland, uh, breeds and shows dogs, rides mm -hmm. horses, and runs. Is that all? Well, I know. <laughs> and they're in the process of building a brand new home, um, decorating it from top to bottom, just like you, big into antiques and shopping and doing all that stuff. So Sounds she doesn't like my have kind a of gal. She is, I think. I think. All she right, is. Cynthia and Richard had a lot of fun with Gail this morning, and they tell me that we're not going to believe how she looks. So let me show everyone how Gail looked when she arrived. You at see, the she studio. doesn't look that bad, but I kept saying, and I no, kept saying, doesn't. do something with your hair, look ugly. And she said, I don't know how to. So. Uh, all right, you ready to see the new Gail? Yeah, she doesn't yeah. look bad. This no. is going to be kind of I'm a excited. weird makeover bit. Yep. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Rainy, you both look alike. Same pod. Yes. Same pod. Yes. How do you feel? Great. It was, um, as Lorraine told you, I've been very, very busy, and I felt like I had gotten into a rut. Right. And this gave me the um, impulsion to get out of the rut and change my look and a little bit of bravery, thanks to the two on the end there, <laughs> to get me going. Did you have your hair color? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> a little very red. She's Richard, very red. I want that color hair. I know. If she can do it, why Great can't I? Okay, I want guy. you to meet one of our newest staff me uh, members, Jocelyn. Jocelyn is something called a travel coordinator, right? And does she have a hard life? Jocelyn, who did you bring to be made over? I brought my mom. My mom is the most wonderful, special person in the whole entire world. I know everyone's saying that about their family members, but my mom is the best, truly. And, but every picture that I look at her in, she looks exactly the same. Her hair looks the same. Her clothes look the same. She looks exactly She's the same. Stuck. She, yeah, I think so. She just, she needs something new, and she needs, you know. I don't know, she, she's, she's very casual when she works, so I never get the chance to see her all dressed up and all made up and everything. You know, it's just, I need, I need to see her done. So let's see how she looked uh, when she came to visit us. 
Yeah, well, she just rolled out of bed. That's really, I mean, she doesn't usually <laughs> look just like that. She looks a little bit better than that, but. Now, Jocelyn says mom has not changed in 20 years. Here's Susan now. Susan, come on out. Can I talk about mom? Is she going to get beat red if I talk about her? <laughs> nah. <Maybe. Okay. laughs> Jocelyn says the reason mom has not changed is she spends money on the kids and will not buy any new clothes for herself. Jocelyn gave her for her birthday a sweater and she returned it so Jocelyn could have the money. She's, and she's one she's time that her mother. She, yeah, selfish. she is. She's really selfless. She likes. She treats us, but you know, much. She she puts all of us, but you know, in in, in front. She, you know. She puts herself second, one new which thing and it's she's... nice. It's nice to put herself, you know, put my mom first. For she once. looks fantastic. Isn't one she nice thing great? she bought herself is a bathrobe. <laughs> right. Okay. Susan, what do you think? Well, I think I look very grown up, <laughs> which is probably a nice change too. Maybe that's why I looked the same for the past twenty you years. You look great. Now meet the other Jill. We have another Jill. Two of our producers are Jills. They couldn't find another name, right? <laughs> that's right. Uh, Jill, you want to give your sister a makeover. My sister Lisa, who just got married, she really needs to update her look. She gets very attached emotionally to her clothing. About a year ago, <laughs> we, and, and I'm in a family of three girls, so we don't, you know, everybody's my best friend, my best friend, my sisters are my best friends, but I have a fashion conscious mom. We tell each other what we think. <laughs> So she pulls out of the closet this dress. She says, I think I could still get away with this, don't you think? It was her sweet 16 dress. She's 30. So it's time for her to get a better look. Now, she just got married. Just got married. She's a systems analyst for a brokerage firm. Mm -hmm. She works in a very conservative place, so she sees life as dress up day or dress down day, and she needs help on the dress down days. Are you ready to see newlywed Lisa? Jill has told us that Lisa is not a morning person. No. This is what Lisa looked like when she arrived at 7 a.m. at our... Oh. Really? Oh. Oh. Very happy. And here's Lisa now. Whoa. <laughs> Can I see, can I ask our producer for a split screen of the before and she didn't want to be here? And the, uh, oh my, oh my God. Oh dear. Jill, what do you think? I think she looks fabulous. I mean, she's certainly got the height. She works out. She's got a great build. She can carry a lot of things. She just needs to try different things. Lisa, how do you feel that your, what do you think your husband's going to think? I like it, I think. He'll really? Love it. Yeah. He'll love Good. it. So. All right, Cynthia and Richard. Very quickly, tell us about the three makeovers. Okay, Sally, Now, you quickly. colored her hair, and yes. you won't do mine. Right. No, but we will, but I promise. Her mom is a redhead. Again, going back to the family history, that's why she, it, she's Irish. She looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This was tough, because her husband happens to be a hairdresser. What? So, yeah, oh, wow. and, a, and an excellent one. One wow. of the best. In fact, you know him from La Coupe years ago. But anyway, what we did is we colored her. Yeah. My staff and I colored her. We added a little bit more red. I chipped into it a little bit, lightened it up. She has hair like a rug. Hair <laughs> like a rug. And just gelled it. No blow drying. Very easy. Also, with Rainy's sister, the same thing. Natural curl, just a little bit of gel, leaving it. Jill's sister. What's her husband going to say when she comes home tonight and says she met another <laughs> hairdresser? Love He'll it. love it? Okay. He'll like it, yeah. What else? Um, Jill's sister um, was hesitant. She was afraid to cut it, like a lot of women that want long hair. Her hair is very thick. All I did was change the weight a little bit. My staff highlighted it. Uh, we That's conditioned great. it, and she and Bonnie and Maddie did incredible makeup on all. What do you say things. when you're when a woman comes in? She's my husband says I can't cut my hair. <laughs> That's like tough. there's some rule in America. Well, you know what? I I think even with clothes, we, we want there, there has to be a happy medium. I can't be all happy. They can't be all happy. But if they're coming to me, they have to accept some of our. Yeah, or expertise. why pay the money? We're just here to educate, and then you people take it home, and then you really have to apply it to your lifestyles. And I think with Gail, uh, everyone relate classics. Everyone loves classics. Well, we wanted to give her a little twist on the classics, so color. And stand up, Gail. Who would think to put a print down below on this hot little body? She said, I have a dumpy rear end, Cynthia. She doesn't have a dumpy rear end. I don't have one. But you can sit down now. I'm Thank sorry you. to mean to embarrass you. Why, only America's staring at her rear end. 
Now, on Susan, Susan wanted more of a polished look. She's, you know, high-powered career lady there. I thought Grupo Americano is great for this look. Also on Gail's Grupo Americano, too, because we wanted to brighten her up a little bit. Sal Olive Skin needed to have some pump. So this whole, look, vest, a little polish, and a little mixture on textures there is fun as well. Now, on Lisa, you didn't see her body, Sally. I mean, you never saw it. I mean, it was just fun to kind of do this southern, you know, kind of casual look. She went, oh, I feel southern. And this is from Eileen Fisher as well, which works on all age groups and all bodies because you could just put a long sleeve t-shirt on here and you've got a great look for those who'd like to cover their arms. Anyone okay. over 30. Yeah, right. Coming up next, <laughs> one of our staff members says that his mother wears way too much makeup and needs to tone down her glitzy ways. You don't want to miss her sassy new look. Plus, we're going to tell you what colors are right for you. Stay with us. a banana amount of work, but actually it's a lot of fun. What we're doing is making over some of the uh, staff, family members, and you've already met our terrific fashion coordinator, Cynthia Rafa Rickman, who's responsible for the amazing makeovers we've seen so far, and Richard Penna. Cynthia, I understand you have made over one of your own family members. I had to, Sally. Had to. <laughs> this, my sister needs it bad. Um, I'm making over my sister Lydia, and she's the son my family never had. And she's a <laughs> security manager at Cubs Department Store. It's like a 30,000 square food store. And when you walk in, Lydia always protected me as a little girl, Sally, because I don't know. She was just always there to clobber anybody that made fun of me or whatever happened to me. She is very special to me because um, we've been through everything together and we don't look alike and we, we just miss each other. It's the, I've been up in New York for 14 years now and I really want to do something special for her, make her more feminine, She's Sally. still in Atlanta, right? Still in Atlanta and I wanted her to get a promotion to store manager and she got that far. Now I want store director and, and you know, it just, it sh we just need more of a feminine look for her because everyone thinks she's a bouncer everywhere we go or a bodybuilder. They think your sister's a yeah. bouncer? Yeah. Well, she, you know, she goes over and breaks up fights and stuff like that. So, you know. They have a lot of fights in well, that store? Yeah. Well, well, everyone's ripping off everything, you know, so she goes and, and clobbers them. Okay, I can't, can't wait to it. see what you've done to your own sister. Well, thank you. Here's what she looked like this morning, and I've known her for quite a while, too, yeah. and this is what she looks like. Okay, the yeah. new Lydia. Lydia, come on out. Lydia, I've known you for quite a while now. Ever since I met Cynthia, I've never seen you look so great. That picture looked awful this morning. I'm it like, did. It really did. She got me at five this morning. I'm like... <laughs> now, what have you got in your hand? What's uh, left This of is you? what Richard cut off of me this morning. This is my hair. Aww. But this, this is, is the old Lydia. Lydia. You look gorgeous. But you, you know what, Sally? I have to tell you, you know, when, when now when you're in the, in the grocery store business now, and when you got to go tackle somebody, this outfit from like Let Autumn's Next Woman is like, you know, okay, you can still be, you know, workable, but it's fluid silk, a pretty color for her, I thought. Don't you like it? Yeah. And look at her hair. Richard, Richard she needed to get rid of that draggy hair. Yeah. I think. We get a lot of letters asking, don't you have any men on the staff? In most talk shows, most of the people who work for talk shows are women. The men haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> well, we do have some men. Let me introduce one of our production assistants. This is Taha. Taha has asked us to make over his mom, whom I met and thought she was gorgeous. So what the heck could you do to your mom? <laughs> she is. I mean, she is gorgeous. And I want to start off by saying I love my mother. We have a great relationship. <laughs> and everyone says that because I don't want to sound like I'm in ins insulting her in any way. But, um, you know, she's very glamorous. Um, she's from New York, and she lives in the South now. And she still dresses really glamorous. You know, she'll wear kind of glitzy things, a lot of gold and sparkles and things. Like, you know, we'll just go to McDonald's, and she'll have on, like, a Gola May or a sequence or something, <laughs> which is Aww. nice. But, I mean, you know, for McDonald's, she wants to look a little <laughs> bit more conservative or whatever. So I wanted her to dress something, uh, I don't know, a little bit more conservative and to have a business look, too, because she just opened a new business in the South. So I wanted her to have a clean, conservative kind what of business What does she do look. in the South? Um, she has a jewelry company that she just started up. So she's working down there in, in Atlanta, as a matter of fact, as well. Okay. 
boy, we got a lot of people from Milan on our show. A lot of Southerners. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Taha's mother, Margaret, has come to visit us. Here's how she looked when she arrived off the airplane. See, you can't even okay. see that. That's gold can't sequence. Can't see her. That's sequence all over there. Sequence you can't even see it. Sequence and the little gold. You know, that's 7 o'clock this morning, too. So. Uh-huh. Well, poor lady. This is what she looks like now. Margaret, come on out. <laughs> What do you think? No it. sequins in sight, no, no gold. This is perfect. Clean cut. She concern. really looks business-like. And thank you. See, mom <laughs> has the height, Taha. That's I what mean, it is. no matter yeah. what they do to me, I'll never have that height. So it's always, you know, you're very lucky to have that wonderful <laughs> height. Margaret, how do you like yourself? I love it. I feel fantastic. You Aww. look great. I look great. <laughs> what did you do with her, Richard? Well. Um, she really is uh, an incredible amount of energy. It's really hard to tone her down. I wanted to spike her hair out, but to, for today I'm pleasing Taha, but on the plane she's going to look crazy. But you know what? We did mostly makeup with her. We did lighten her hair to an auburn, but my makeup artist toned her hair down. They, um, they really, I mean her makeup down. They really, really showed her how she could use a lot of makeup, but the right colors. Whose clothes is she wearing, Cynthia? She really oh, looks I'll good. I'll tell you, Forgotten Women, we love them. And oh, yes. again, you know, she, we de-embellished her and, and really added some color here. Taha helped me out with this. He's got a great sense of style and a great eye, and he knows his mom the best. And I think fluid fabrics and silk work best for your shape. Mm -hmm. And go back to Atlanta, you'll knock him dead. Thank you. Knock him dead. <laughs> she should know. She's from Atlanta, too. My daughter coming up next. How am I going to live this program down? Next, we have a woman who says it's been years since she treated herself to any new clothing. Today, she's going to say bye-bye to the old T-shirts and the stretch pants. We've taken them away from her. She's going to get a sexy new look. Stay with us. Every office has to have an office manager. I want you to meet Terry. She's our office manager. Terry, I, I think you have a very special reason for wanting to make over your sister Pamela. What is it? Yes, I did. Um, I have nine siblings, and I chose my sister Pam because well, we're there very are close. Ten children in your family? <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh -huh. And um, Pam and I are very close, major close. And um, she had her first child, her son Corey, and then came Deanna. And um, Pamela, I'm used to seeing her in the big shirt, the, the stretch pants, and running to the PTA meetings with the baby on her legs. And I forgot how gorgeous she really is. And guess what she does for a living? Another hairdresser. <laughs> Would you believe this? You cut her hair and you didn't know she was a hairdresser? Look at him. Yo! <laughs> you ought to talk to me. Well, this is what Pamela looked like before. There she wow. is. And here's Pamela now. Pamela, come on out. <laughs> confiscated your stretch pants for you? I wouldn't let her do that. No way. I no know you way. Can. Well, Terry, what do you think? I think she looks gorgeous. Of course. I can't believe of it. Course. <laughs> and how do you feel? I feel great. I love this outfit. I need to have this. I feel good. You need to have this. Yes. Okay. I love it. Uh, I want you to meet our director of creative services. This is Kirsten. Kirsten, you've been with us how long? Almost seven years. Seven years. And you brought your mother with you today. I What's did. wrong with mom? Not much is wrong with mom, as everybody has to say. Um, following Terry's sister, Pamela, my mom is also the typical suburban housewife. She carted us around in a station wagon with wood on the side from one sporting event to the next, never thinking of herself and always putting her family first. So I decided that it would be nice to think of her first for once. And she now has a grandchild and is running after him, my son Ryan. And she's very active. She swims, she gardens, she reads. She's always on the go. So I thought she should get rid of the gray get a little bit more active looking to go with her lifestyle. Let's see Kirsten's mom, Carolyn, 
and how she looked at the crack of dawn this morning. Aha! Uh -huh. She's 57, mom is 57? She's in her late 50s. They're about. <laughs> Take a look at Carolyn now. Carolyn, how do you like your new look? I love it. Oh, you look fantastic. Yeah, My yeah. goodness. Wow. That's a makeover. What did you do, Richard? Well, uh, the, the major thing was hair was color and, and a, more of an updated haircut. And she was ready. I, I don't really want, I don't like to color everybody with beautiful silver hair, but she really does look younger and prettier. Oh, much younger. And, and the magic of makeup is, is proof here. I mean, um, Bonnie did incredible makeup on her. I mean, just softened her up. What about Terry's sister? Terry's sister? You didn't tell me you were a hairdresser. <laughs> she had, you know what? I would have been nervous. She had, you know what? She did have hair to her shoulders. You didn't see it in the ponytail. And she wanted me to cut it this short, like Halle Berry. So we finally compromised. That was a switch. Usually they're kicking me because I'm cutting it too right. short. But we left it longer, more like Anita Baker. She's a beautiful woman. And, it's and beautiful. This, she this was is a, a joy. woman that wanted to wear black when she came in to see me. I want to wear black. She's great for I, I, I don't wear pink. <laughs> Your husband she, will she, notice she, you. Who yes. suit? <laughs> Whose suit are they both? The, the, this uh, is by Grupo Americana, and this is by Grupo Americana. This is a woman I think all of you at home can relate to, where, where it's hard to, to dress gray. It really is hard to dress gray. Therefore, you need color. Well, I knew Richard backstage was whipping up something special for her hair. So I knew he was going to bring out more of the warm brown tones. And this is a beautiful suit. She's softly tailored, just elegant. She could go from day to dinner. And Absolutely. Um, I, have to, I have to admit, a Great fabulous figure. job. Great, Great figure, too. And I like the shorter skirt here, Sin. Very nice legs. Yeah. See, show them up. You know, Same with this one, man. Yeah. Did you see the attitude she had you when know, she walked out here? Break the rules. You don't have to look like a grandmother. You don't have to look like a mother. Just look the, the absolute best that you can at any age. Another one of the gentleman on our staff says that his mother deserves a makeover because she just lost 30 pounds. And another staff member can't wait for her sister to get rid of mall hair. <laughs> mall hair. Anybody out there watching us and you know somebody with a lot of mall hair, here's what you can do with it. Don't go away. As I'm sure you know, our show is taped here in New York, uh, but most of our staff does not come from New York. Most of them have families who live very far away. Now, since Jeff became a part of our staff, he hasn't seen much of his mom. And Jeff got one heck of a big surprise when he met his mom at the airport yesterday, right? Oh, absolutely. What happened? Um, the last time I've seen my mom was a holiday, so it, it's so tough to get down there and see my mom. But like Where's everyone, she live? Uh, down in Hollywood, Florida. It's near Fort Lauderdale. Right. She had her New Year's resolution to lose weight. Mm. From now on, she's lost 30 plus pounds. Mm. I saw curves. It was great. I got off the flight. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was, it was just it was fabulous. So it was really nice to see this. Now, here's what Jeff's mom, Leslie, looked like. What, did you go get mom from the airport? Yes. Okay, this is the way she looked this morning. And she did have curves. 30 pounds. Check out Leslie's new look. Leslie, come on out. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Leslie, I haven't had a chance to meet you privately, which is very rare. I get to meet everybody's family. You have a terrific son. He's Thank a you. very big I addition so. to our staff, and, and you must be a good mom. And congratulations, 30 pounds from Thank January, you. New Year's Day. Right. How'd you do it? Jenny Craig and Richard Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a combination. How do you like that? How do you feel with your new look? Great. What did you do with her? Well, Good. I had to fight her. She said, I don't want to color. Really? I don't want cut. Wow. I have all my ears covered. And, and, and once I started, she just gave in. And she let me do, and my staff, whatever we wanted. We lightened her up at least five shades. And I just chipped into it. It's all natural curl. 
beautiful summer colors to show chipped off her cheekbones. Chipped into it. What does chipped um, into it? She has very it. thick hair. I wanted to release some curl. It's, it's for people who have very thick hair and want to wear it naturally. It's a way of releasing some of the weight. So it looks a little messier and a little bit looser. And this, again, is by Eileen Fisher, and I think she looks beautiful. Now, let me meet. You, you know how close it is when you work hours and hours with somebody. This is my, the Italian side of my family. <laughs> I uh, want to introduce our director of pre- and post-production, who's been with us how long, Joes? Uh, over seven years. Over seven years. Her name is, yeah. Why don't these people get another? No, I'm just kidding. Her name is Josie. I'll start looking, Sal. No, no, no. Josie <laughs> is really Italian because she was born in? Rome. Rome. And uh, she is vice president in charge of anything Italian on the show. <laughs> she has a sister, and she's a wonderful person. We love Josie. Her sister is Giuliana, uh -huh. who needs a makeover. Yep. What's wrong with a Giuliana? Well, she's like a typical teenager. She's 19, so she's on the verge of being what I consider time to be an adult. And one of the things was that she had mall hair. You know, it's like mall. big. <laughs> Either that or it was totally in a ponytail. She hasn't cut her hair in decades, centuries, and pants. I have no, no, the woman has legs. I'm not sure, right. and I'd like to find out if there is something oh, under Jersey. there other than jeans that stand up <laughs> on their Jersey. own. She works six days a week waitressing at Dunkin' Donuts, goes to business school three nights a week. She will finish in one month, and she needs to look professional. That's right. She had a perm four years ago. That's and wants rid of it. Let's look at Juliana this morning. Aha. Uh -huh. Grunge. <laughs> and let's take a look at the new Juliana. Oh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's gone. Ho <laughs> Josefina, what do you think? I think she looks fabulous. Legs! <laughs> Doesn't she look wonderful? She looks great. Oh, Richard, magic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Josie, she could be a model. She is that Gorgeous. beautiful. Juliana, how do you feel? Great. Do it was you? so drastic. I, I can't believe it. And the cut, it's a great transitional haircut for women who are ready to get into the workforce because they can still have their long hair. She can have a ponytail, but it's the easiest cut. This shag, which is a 90s version of the 70s cut, is much nicer because it looks good with nothing. This a could shag. Be, yes, it could be scrunched. It's just layers. It's I another see. fancy word for layers. Well, it still shows innocence, too, I think, a shag. Yeah, and that's she, why I couldn't put her in career. Where I had to show that finger rich. Beautiful. You know? I tell you, the, these two look terrific together. Don't better. they? <laughs> Matchmaker, <laughs> Richard. No, no, Richard. No, no, no. Now, I think it's time I got into the act. When we come Again. back, we're going to take a look at my daughter, Andrea, who is going to get, I hope, one heck of a makeover. We'll be right back. All right, put your tongue in your cheek. Let me tell you something about my next guest. She is an incredible young woman. She has tremendous energy and great passion. She's passionate about everything. She's into bicycling. She does almost professional Tai Chi and health gourmet cooking. She works as a massage therapist and she's in her second of four years of acupuncture school. She's studying Chinese medicine. Now, she balances that with a marriage to a really terrific guy. Who is this? My own daughter, Andrea. But with all this, Andrea always tells me, Mom, I don't have time to worry about my hair and makeup and clothes. So we decided to treat her to a makeover on today's show. And I guess it's the student to real life look, because that's what she is. She's a student, and this is real life. Here's what Andrea looked like this morning and wearing no makeup and her jeans and her regular, that's what she goes to school and smile, Andrea. Oh, you can't, you're a photograph. Okay, here's Andrea after the makeover. Come on out, Andrea. You look very, very good. You cut your hair. You had See, long hair. Like, <laughs> I'm up sorry. here, Andrea. I think you look terrific. Yes, How do you feel? It's a major transition. Yeah. Will well, you I wear the I makeup more than it. one day a week? Well, if no? I can always wear Eileen Fisher clothes, I will. 
Okay. Now, remember earlier in the show, our senior producer, Amy, was with her three-year-old son, Brett. Is he three? He's three. Three and a half. He's three and a half. Why did we let him get to be three and a half? What's I don't going know. on? No, I came here when he was three months. <laughs> yeah. Well, when we saw Brett, he was in his jammies with his hair sticking up. Let's see what Richard and Cynthia have done with Brett. Brett, babe, come, come on, on out. Babe. So that's what three years old looks like. Brett, you look terrific. Okay, thanks, Alice. Have you ever had a tie on before? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Amy, does he own a tie? This is his tie. It's been um, handed down from his big brother, Adam. <laughs> he looks very nice. Richard, what did you do with Andrea? I love you, I love you Brett. <laughs> what did you do? By the way, Brett is the child of two producers. The father works at CBS, and the yeah, mom is our senior that's producer. That's so this kid has got a <laughs> career in show business, doesn't he? What'd you do with Drea? <laughs> with Andrea, I've been taking care of Andrea for as long as I've known her. And we're always doing something new. We are starting to grow her into a little bit of a longer bob. But what I've done is stacked her. And, and for, again, for people out there who are looking for transitional um, looks, makeovers, um, as you're growing out a cut, you, ha you need to get in there and, and get it shaped so that each stage looks good. That's very important. And that's what I try to do with her. Because she really doesn't spend Mom, a lot of time on, her, on herself. No, she spends no time yeah. on herself and everything on her clients. And she falls right into the trap, Sally, like we all do, of She's getting very comfortable yeah. with the way you look in jeans and T-shirts. And, and that's why Eileen Fisher works with this as well. Because it's fluid, it's elegant, natural fiber. She feels good. I'm talking, she loves it. I think she looks elegant. You like that? Yeah. yeah. A lot. Brett, what did he do to your hair, hon? Did he put some funny gel. stuff on it? Gel. Gel. Okay. Yeah. Should is he is he too old for gel? Absolutely not. He's he's a model. He's he's yeah, this kid's going to have a, um, Are you a career in acting and Amy, modeling. what's he doing? Is he modeling? He has the personality, the looks. He looks very nice, very rugged. We'll be right back. Thank you. Two very special thank yous. First, to Elaine Fisher for their makeover outfits that will help our newly made-over family members stay with it. You know how important that is. And also to Gerlaine for providing. We have cosmetic goodies for our entire audience. My staff, the family members, and they're going to maintain their nice, new, fresh looks. So thank you very, very much. See you next time.